Um, I would say, as, as far as I can understand her, my adopted mother's um, opinion is that um, Jews are basically bad people. Um, Jews are basically um, dishonest, and they are, um, uh, you know, financially dishonest. They're crooks. <laughs> and, um, you know, Orthodox Jews, being more Jewish, are probably even worse. Um, plus, she felt that Orthodox Jews are uh, physically dirty and smelly. Um, and, where, were, where, um, where were you living at the time? Uh, the this, 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 was, this, was, this was in a town called New City, New York. Um, and this new city happens to be um, adjacent to, it's next door to a village called New Square, New York. Yeah. Which is like ex extremely orthodox and Hasidic and so on. Um, and, uh, I mean, New City at that time was about 20% Jewish. Um, none of those Jews were Orthodox in my neighborhood. Uh, they were reform or conservative. Um, but my parents did not socialize with them. Our neighbors on both sides of our house were Jews. Uh, you know, not Orthodox. But um, I don't recall my adopted parents ever speaking to them. Um, and uh, and it was, again, it was, it was close to like to uh, New Square, uh, close to uh, Muncie, and so on. Um, and um, that was the kind of area that we were living in. However, um, in the opinion of my adopted parents, at least my adopted mother anyway, um, you know, Jews were, um, you know, basically bad people. And uh, she didn't like them, Did, you know. Just a second, just a second. Did your parents have yeah. any Jewish friends? No, absolutely not. You know what I'm saying? Except my mother told me, my adopted mother did, did, did explain to me um, at, at this time, you know, after I, you know, when we were talking about me converting, she did say that there was a member of, there, there was one member of her garden club um, uh, who was of Jewish background. However, she had converted to Christianity and she had married a Christian man and she was friends with, with this woman. So she felt that that's proof that she was not an anti-Semite because she did believe that, you know, that there were Jews who were okay. Again, I, I guess provided they had converted or something like that, you know, yeah. so then they, they, were, they, they, they might be okay. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't a racial thing. Yeah. You know, for her. Do you know what I'm saying? It yeah. was just, it was kind of more like, you know, an ethnic, cultural, religious sort of thing. That a Jew who, re, a Jew who, you know, who remained Jewish, I guess you could say. Um, as far, I mean, as, as far as she was concerned, she believed that my converting to Judaism um, was about the equivalent of my joining the Mafia. But say, yeah. um, I think that, that I think it's how that she, I think it's how she looks at it until this day. You know what I'm saying? In the sense that, like you know, I mean, obviously, as a good mother, she was vehemently against it. You know, I mean, what would you say to your teenage child who says, um, you know, Dad, um, I'm going to join the mafia. You know, and that's how I want to lead my life. I'm going to be, um, you know, a made man or whatever they call it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm going to go around, you know, extorting money from people, you know, and making them offers they can't refuse or something like that. And that's how I want to live. You know, that's what I have decided on for my future. I mean, of course you're going to be against that. You know what I'm saying? Who wouldn't? You know what I'm saying? You can't approve of that. You know what I mean? Like, you know, that, <laughs> that, I mean, like, in other words, she to this day feels that that was her responsibility as a, a, a good parent to try to do anything she could to talk me out of it or to stop me somehow, you know? 
Um, anyway, so that's how she feels. I mean, you know, her, their, 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 their background was um, ethnically very German. My adopted mother's father was an immigrant from Germany. Um, and her, her, I think all of her grandparents and all of my adopted father's grandparents were born in Germany. And, um, you know, um, I don't know if everybody German is like this or something, but, um, you know, that may have had something to do with it, you know. And uh, so they, they basically, um, and they, they to this day feel justifiably that they were and they are very much against the idea of me being Jewish. You know, and that, that, anyhow, that was their reaction. That was more or less what I anticipated also. And what happened was, is that for about the next six months, uh, it was just like total hysteria at home. My adopted mother just, you know, completely freaked out, you know what I'm saying, and, and yelled and screamed and everything else, you know what I'm saying. And, um... Um, they had started going to church again themselves about six months prior to this. Um, it wasn't anything to do with me. It was like my adopted mother's sister um, began speaking to them just coincidentally about six months prior to this that they should start going to church. My adopted mother's sister was much more devout than my adopted parents were. And she kind of, I don't know, told them that, you know, listen, you know, your, your kids have to be Christians, you know, and you have to get with it and get with the program and start going to church or whatever, you know. So, um, so for whatever reason, they felt pressured by her, and they started doing it, you know, like about half a year before I told them about my interest in Judaism. They started going to church. And um, they found, like, a very liberal Presbyterian church in New City, which, um, which is still there. I drive past there once in a while. It happens to be called uh, German's Presbyterian Church. And um, so my adopted parents began going there, and they asked me to join them. Um, it's kind of ironic, because just, like, a few years earlier, I was trying to drive in the church, you know. But then they had... They were they weren't really interested, but but anyhow, now they were interested, and I told them that I didn't want to go, and I told them that it was because I I was an atheist. That's why that that was my excuse. Um, but now it came out that I really was Jewish. That I really wanted to become Jewish. So now they started really pressuring me to go to church with them on Sunday morning. Um, so I went, but I just sat there and observed but refused to participate in the services um, at church. But I think that placated them to some extent, and I started also meeting with their minister for, like, uh, counseling, you know, yeah. about my being Jewish and stuff. And I, I did that. I agreed to do that. And um, uh, he was... I mean, he was probably about the um, Christian equivalent of, I would say, like a reform rabbi. You know, in the sense, I mean, he he wasn't he wasn't you know, um, you know, like all fire and brimstone, you know, and uh, you know, you need Jesus to save you and stuff. I mean, he was pretty open-minded. I mean, I told him about my interest in Judaism and all that, and. Um, <clears throat> He felt that it was basically okay, you know, and uh, he wasn't really all upset about it or something. And, uh, you know, we met a number of times and so on. And, uh, you know, I mean, you know, neither of us converted, to, you know, converted the other one or anything. But, uh, you know, it was okay. And um, uh, anyhow, this continued for about six months until my adopted mother um, just decided she couldn't take it anymore or something, or she decided she had to do something more drastic, and she gave me a, uh, a suitcase.